Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really easy zombie makeup for Halloween. I only use products that I already owned in my makeup collection. So I hope you enjoy. I'm starting off by applying a dark matte grey eyeshadow all over my face. Don't worry if it looks a bit patchy right now because we're going to be going in later and blending it all out. This is just to make you look kind of dull and dead. <laughs> and that's us just blending it out with a buffing brush. I'm then going to be using that same colour to contour my face. So I'm applying this in the hollows of my cheeks and in my temples and blending that out. Then I'm taking the same colour on a Real Techniques brow brush and I'm contouring my nose. To make myself look even more scary I decided to use a matte black just over the top of that, just a little bit and then I'm blending it out with my Real Techniques buffing brush. Don't worry about blending everything out too much because you want to look quite gaunt and creepy so don't worry. To blend out my nose contour I'm using a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. took those contour shades along my jawline and blended that down my neck. I'm then taking the matte grey again on a Real Techniques base shadow brush and outlining the shapes of my under eye circles. I'm taking it right into the inner corner of the eye to make my eyes look really dark and tired. I also took some of the matte black and put that over the top of that and blended that out. And then I'm just blending that out with my fingers. Then I mixed together a navy and a purple eyeshadow and I'm just dusting that underneath my eyes. Then I'm taking the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I've dipped it into a gel eyeliner pot and I'm applying this all over the lid, right into the inner corners and all the way up to the brow bone. Feels weird going this high but it makes your eyes look very scary and I'm also blending it underneath my eyes. Next I'm taking a red eye shadow on a Real Techniques accent brush and applying that right onto my waterline. This doesn't quite pick up on camera but in real life it looks really scary. <laughs> and now for the best part, I am drawing in where I want my cut to be just with a normal eyeliner and then I'm taking the deluxe crease brush and the gel eyeliner again and just popping some of that on and blending that out. And now with a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm not sure where this one's from, I'm just using a red lip gloss and applying that along the line and then I've taken a tissue and I cut a really thin line of it and peeled it apart and then just stuck that on top of the lip gloss and then I'm just taking more of that lip gloss and just 
getting it to stick on top. with some gel eyeliner which made it this really dark red colour and I'm just putting that over the top to give the cut a bit more dimension and it makes it look even more disgusting. And I had some extra left over so I just decided to put a little bit through my brow and around my nose and my lip but it's up to you wherever you want to put that. So in order to give the cut a little bit more dimension, I took that gel eyeliner and blended that around the edge, but I left a little gap. And in that gap I used a red eyeshadow. This is the same one that I used on my waterline but you could quite easily use a blush. And then to finish off I took the black eyeshadow and put this on my lips and I tried to make a funny face to try and crinkle my lips together to <laughs> make them look all dry and cracked. <laughs> And that's the finished look. If you want to wear this out for Halloween, all you need to do is back comb your hair and wear it with a black outfit and it'll look amazing. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.